Hello and welcome to Brandon's Peace of Mind. A very special thank you goes out to everybody who checks out my podcast and follows me on Facebook. Stay tuned for a very special peace of mind on this Sunday morning. So today we were going to discuss what this Pride Month has meant to me. It's learning to love everybody and appreciating what they have to offer. A person like me enjoys learning these things because one, love is not just simply a word, it's an understanding. We love to learn and we learn to love each other in many ways, but This is like teaching us love without stipulations. We love who we are because of what we have become. And the moment we start loving somebody, we put our hearts and our minds to it, and we figure out that the best way to love somebody is to love them unconditionally. And that is something that we have fallen away from. Some of the pride community has been noted as saying that we are selfish in our ways and shaming everybody else who doesn't look like us. And that is true because some in the community made public knowledge of the fact that they were shamed in the LBGTIA community. And that is wrong because you should never be ashamed of who you are. I have been shamed before of parts of my body, and it's like, this is my body, this is who I am. If you care, you care not just because of my body, but because of me. God created us in a very special, unique way. And to put it into perspective, the Catholic, or the Christian, or the Jewish, or the Seventh-day Adventists would probably not look at the body, because God has created us in his own eye. And from there, we have grown and learned to grow as people. This everyday event on TV kind of made me go, okay, I need need to talk talk about about this. this. Well, sometimes sometimes talking about it doesn't really do the trick. So So I've decided decided to do a podcast. podcast. Today we don't don't just celebrate celebrate the community of the LBGT, but we're we're also also going to celebrate the LBGT African American community and what today stands for. Because today is a very special day for them. But I think, and this is just me, I think that July 4th is everybody's day. It's all people, not just one select brand or couple or race or religion of people. It's all people. Because we celebrate Independence Day, we celebrate our lives on Earth. We live today because we've won this opportunity our men and women who are serving in the military serve because they've done their job. And we have the satisfaction of knowing that the job that they have done has kept us free. Now, not just keeping us free, but in the past, some people have used their minister right to kind of cop to something that is not real. This is saying that we, as a people, do not exist as one. Some have come out and said that the LBGT movement needs to be shamed into submission, and that is not the case. We don't need to be shamed into submission. We need people to respect us as who we are. We are just as good as you, the guy down the street, the mail carrier, the President of the United States, We can do the same things and make our own choices. And we live for the day when we're respected and not shamed of our bodies. Because we are 
the, the man, the woman, anybody who is ashamed of their bodies by others is as bad as being bullied. If you want to bully, go bully yourself. Because bullying us doesn't change what is going on in the community. This is a community of people. We respect, we love, we understand. And we have lost that which we hold dear, which is the respect, the love, and the understanding. Because of these big wigs in Hollywood, because of these people in the movies, these people on TV, these people talking about weight loss, all those things, we have lost our way. Stay tuned. More to come.